Hello everybody! Welcome back to the Butterfly Houses Pollinator Series of Videos. This is Chris Hartley, and today I'm here with you to talk about beetles as pollinators. So we're looking at a longhorn beetle on these parsley flowers right now. And there are other beetles around too, such as this soldier beetle. We're going to talk about all the roles beetles have, and I have some more really cool beetles to show you as we get rolling here. So beetles are the world's biggest group of insects. There are more kinds of beetles than anything else out there. Here's just a variety of the beetle pollinators that I have to show you. Beetle pollinators are not as well known as some other insects, but they include things like soldier beetles, which we were just looking at on the plant, various scarab beetles, net-winged beetles, even some really, really beautiful beetles. The glorious green one you see there is actually called the glorious scarab beetle. It hangs out mainly on juniper plants in the deserts of the southwest, but occasionally will visit flowers looking for food for itself and will pollinate as a result. Some of the other beetles you see here are also commonly found on plants as they seek the pollen itself and sometimes the nectar as well for a food source. That's the interesting thing about beetles as pollinators. They're one of the most ancient beetle pollinators. And the theory is that when flowering plants were first appearing, many beetle species would actually move in and seek the pollen as a food source. As they ingested pollen, plants kind of co-evolved with them to where the beetles were actually spreading pollen. From there, other insects like the flies and bees eventually became even more specialized to where they became even more efficient pollinators such as we have today. Let me show you with photographic evidence though how effective beetles can be as pollinators. So this is another kind of longhorn beetle hanging out on some mint flowers. But here is an even more impressive beetle pollinator, this scarab beetle in the genus Euphoria. It's on a dogwood tree, and it is clearly covered in pollen, as you can see. If you start to look closely, you'll see many different kinds of beetles hanging out on flowers of all types. They're especially prevalent in big open flowers that kind of function more like a dish where the beetle can hang out and really just bathe itself in pollen, getting a meal in the process. So, beetles wrap up our tour of the insects as pollinators. But let's not forget all the other pollinators that are still out there in the world for us to talk about. The birds and the bats. So tune in tomorrow for our last segment in Pollinator Week as we're going to talk a little bit about birds and bats and how you can encourage them in your own yard along with all of our insect pollinator friends. Until tomorrow, if you have any questions, put them in the comments or drop us a note. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.